Now today I'm gonna to be slow cooking some lamb shoulder. Now it turns out really tasty and tender because we're gonna flavor it up with some fresh rosemary, garlic, little bit of white wine vinegar, salt and pepper. So really simple to do, slow cook it for about four hours and you'll have something delicious. So for cooking up this lamb shoulder, I'm just gonna go through the ingredients I'm gonna use. Now I've got my lamb shoulder there, mine weighs just under two and a half kilograms. Now my piece hasn't got a lot of fat on top. If it had quite a lot of fat, what I'd probably suggest is getting a knife and just put some gentle cuts in the fat only, not in the meat, nice and gentle, and that'll allow you to get a bit of seasoning, salt and pepper in there and, you know, make it look a little bit nicer. So there's my piece of lamb shoulder. Now the other ingredients, a little bit of olive oil, just to rub on the outside, season it, put a good amount of seasoning, the salt and freshly ground black pepper all over. Now what I'm gonna do is at the bottom of the baking tray, I'm just gonna lay these bits of, you know, little cloves of garlic, the small ones I've got, just put them in the bottom there. With the other garlic, what I'm gonna do is crush that with a pestle and mortar, and then we're gonna add some white wine vinegar because I'm gonna pour that on just at the end to make it smell and taste delicious. Now I've got some fresh rosemary there. Again, some of that I'm gonna lay, you know, in the bottom of the tin, and some of them I'm just gonna sprinkle over the top. Now, that's all the ingredients, so it's really nice and simple. Gonna get myself a baking tin and start seasoning up and preparing the lamb shoulder. So I've got my baking tin, you know, try and make sure it's big enough that it's gonna take the lamb shoulder. And also, because I'm gonna put some foil over it, I've just used this one that's a little bit taller than the rest. Now, I'm gonna start off by seasoning the meat. Now, I'm just gonna turn it that way around to start with. Get some olive oil. Just gonna rub that like that. Now, what I'm gonna do is season this with some salt and pepper. That's it. And freshly ground black pepper. That's it. And then flip it over and do the same on the other side. So now I've got that seasoned up on both sides. Just gonna wrap that in. Now I've got these little pieces of garlic. Just, you know, put those in. And also I've got some rosemary. Oops. Just try and get a bit down that end. That's it. Lovely. Now on top, Just put some bits of rosemary on it, scatter that around. Delish. So now we've got all the rosemary and the garlic underneath. What we need to do next, get your tin foil. Fill that up like that. And that is now ready to go in the oven. Now, I'm gonna put my oven on initially. Turn your oven right up, get it to a nice high temperature, because it's always good to put it into a really hot oven. Once you put it in, then we're gonna lower the temperature down. So I'm just gonna put the lamb in the oven. As I said, mine's on maximum heat at the moment. Just to, just to give it a kick start, but what I'm gonna do, is turn it down. So the temperature you're gonna set it to is 160 degrees Celsius, which is 325 degrees Fahrenheit, gas mark three. And what you wanna do is cook for four hours. So now we've got the lamb cooking away in the background, we've got four hours. Now that gives you plenty of time to sort everything else out for your meal and get your table laid and whatever you've gotta do. Now one thing we do need to do is with the garlic cloves, peel those and crush them and add some white wine vinegar. So that's what I'm gonna do next. So I've been crushing that down and I think that's pretty good. That's good to go. Now I'm gonna put in the white wine vinegar Say a reasonable amount. Like that. Lovely. Now I'm just going to leave that and when the lamb's cooked for the full four hours we're just going to take the tin foil off 
and then we're going to spoon that all over the top of the lamb and it'll make it smell and look and taste delicious. Now I've had the lamb cooking, slow cooking for four hours and already this kitchen smells absolutely wonderful. If, if you go outside in the garden or whatever and come back in this kitchen it smells delicious. Now what I'm going to do is take the tin foil off, let's pull it out a little bit more, now obviously it's hot, you might have to sort of you know take it out on the table if you need to but I'm just going to pull this tin foil off oh. look at that ah oh, that looks good mm -mm. now what I'm going to do is to put the garlic the crushed garlic and vinegar and I am just gonna put it on top. Now when you put this back in the oven, your kitchen is gonna smell beautiful and it's gonna make your guests hungry. So probably keep your door shut is my advice until you're ready to serve them up. So I'm just putting all this garlic and vinegar on there. Just get it all over. Oh, yeah. Spread that out. Now what you want to do is to get a little bit of colour on that garlic. Now I'm going to turn my temperature up a little bit more. So let's pop it back in. Obviously we're doing it uncovered. Keep an eye on it. Now I'm going to turn mine up to 200 degrees Celsius, 400 Fahrenheit, gas mark 6. Now when you've got a really nice golden brown colour on the garlic, that's the time to pull it out. So leave it cooking, keep an eye on it, wait for the garlic to get a nice golden brown colour. Don't let it burn. And don't forget, keep the kitchen door shut. Now with the lamb, since we put the garlic and the vinegar on there, it's been about 10 minutes. Now what I'm gonna do, is get myself a spoon and I'm just gonna baste this. Just get some of those juices on there because they're all absolutely delicious. Oh yeah, lovely. Put that back in, build that color up, get the garlic looking good, nice and golden brown, and serve it up. Now with the lamb, have a look at this. Oh, that is looking beautiful. Now, 20 minutes without that, cooking this slightly higher temperature, 200 degrees Celsius and we've got a nice golden brown colour on top that looks wonderful now halfway through I did baste it now you can always baste it again so just kind of get the juices pour them over look at that beautiful garlic rosemary it smells absolutely fantastic in this kitchen now what we we'll do is Take that out, put it on the table, put the tin foil over, leave it for 20 to 30 minutes to tenderize. Now with the lamb, I've taken it out of the oven, we'll leave it to tenderize, left it to tenderize. Have a look at that, that looks beautiful. Now, I'm gonna get myself a plate and look at this meat. Oh, oh, that is beautiful, it kind of, it's so soft. That is tender meat. Oh. Mm. Now I'm gonna serve that up, a little bit of mash, vegetables, gravy, and I'm gonna have a really delicious meal. Let's go for a bit of mashed potato. Oh yeah. Mm -mm. Vegetables, obviously serve out what you want. I've got some carrots, you could do carrots and peas or whatever you fancy. Lovely. Gravy. Let's just try that. Now really, I kind of, it's gonna get a couple of forks, you know, because this meat, look at it. That just pulls apart beautifully. That is slow cooked and, oh. Mmm, look at 
that looks delicious. Let me try this. Mmm. No, that's really good. Mmm. That lamb is scrummy. Mmm. Came in the gravy, the veg. You can't go wrong with this. Thanks for watching my videos. I'll see you on the next one. The original Naked Chef.